Space, the final frontier, has long captured our imagination and curiosity. In a monumental achievement, China has successfully built and launched its own space station. This significant milestone in human space exploration showcases not only China's technological prowess, but also its commitment to contributing to our collective understanding of the universe. The Chinese space station, known as Tiangong or Heavenly Palace, stands as a testament to this promise. This state-of-the-art space laboratory will serve as a hub for scientific research and international cooperation in space. The tale of Tiangong's birth is an intriguing one. The story begins with the launch of the Tianhe core module, the heart of the space station, which was propelled into space in April 2021. The construction of the space station began with this launch, marking the start of a new chapter in China's journey into space. Over the following months, China launched additional modules and spacecraft to dock with the Tianhe core module. This marked the inception of a delicate and complex ballet of engineering prowess and precision. With the Tianhe core module serving as the heart of the space station, the subsequent modules were systematically added, each with its unique role and contribution to the functionality of the space station. The Tianzhou cargo spacecraft, akin to a vital supply line, was launched to ferry necessary supplies and equipment to the space station. Its successful docking with the Tianhe module signaled the readiness of the space station to support life, a milestone in the construction journey. Next in line was the Wentian Science Module. This module houses laboratory facilities for a broad spectrum of research in microgravity, from fundamental physics to life sciences. Its addition expanded the space station's capability to support cutting-edge experiments and discoveries that could redefine our understanding of the universe. Following the Wentian Module, the Mengtian Module was added. This module, similar to its predecessor, houses additional laboratory facilities and is designed to further enhance the station's research capabilities. With these two modules in place, the space station truly became a heavenly palace of knowledge and discovery. Finally, the Shenzhou spacecraft was launched carrying astronauts, the first inhabitants of the space station. Their arrival marked the space station's transition from a construction site to a lively hub of human activity. Throughout this construction process, the engineers and scientists on the ground worked tirelessly, overcoming challenges and ensuring the successful assembly of this monumental structure in space. Each launch, each docking, and each addition to the space station was a testament to their dedication and skill. The completed space station now consists of three main modules, the Tianhe core module, the Wentian science module, and the Mengtian science module, along with the Tianzhou cargo spacecraft and the Shenzhou astronaut spacecraft. This floating laboratory in the sky can support a crew of up to six astronauts, providing them with a unique vantage point to observe our universe and a state-of-the-art facility to push the boundaries of scientific knowledge. The Chinese space station is not just a symbol of China's technological prowess, it is also a platform for cutting-edge scientific research. This celestial lab is a hub of exploration and discovery, where astronauts and scientists from around the globe collaborate to push the boundaries of our knowledge. Inside the Tiangong or Heavenly Palace, a variety of research projects are underway. These projects span a broad spectrum of scientific disciplines, from the microgravity effects on the human body, to the behavior of fluids in a zero-gravity environment, to the study of cosmic rays. The space station's unique environment allows scientists to conduct experiments that would be impossible on Earth. For instance, in the field of biology, researchers are studying how plants grow and adapt in space, a crucial step in the quest to sustain life on long-duration space missions and potentially on other planets. In the realm of physics and materials science, the station's microgravity environment opens up new possibilities. Scientists are able to observe phenomena and conduct experiments that shed light on fundamental principles of physics. They're also exploring the properties of materials under conditions that cannot be replicated on Earth, which could lead to the development of new materials and technologies. Astronomy too benefits from the space station's vantage point. Free from the distortions caused by Earth's atmosphere, the station's onboard telescopes can capture clearer and more detailed images of celestial bodies. This has the potential to deepen our understanding of the cosmos, from the mysteries of black holes to the origins of the universe. The space station will host a wide range of experiments, contributing to our understanding of the universe and benefiting humanity as a whole. The knowledge gained here will not only advance our scientific understanding but also has the potential to improve life on Earth, 
from medical advancements to new technologies. It's a testament to how space exploration can drive progress and innovation, reminding us that the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. In addition to scientific research, the Chinese space station will also play a role in international cooperation. This move by China, while strategic, is also a reflection of the global nature of space exploration. You see in space national boundaries blur, and the focus shifts towards a shared human endeavor, a collective curiosity that propels us beyond the confines of our planet. So, what does this international cooperation look like? Well, it's multifaceted and far-reaching. It starts with an open invitation. China has welcomed foreign astronauts to train and fly aboard the Tiangong. This isn't just a nice gesture, it's a tangible step towards fostering a global community of space explorers. But it doesn't stop at personnel exchanges. China is also open to sharing the resources and research capabilities of the Heavenly Palace with the international community. This means that scientists from around the world can propose experiments to be conducted on the space station, thus expanding the scope and potential of research achievable in microgravity conditions. Moreover, China has expressed an interest in partnering with other countries on future space missions. This could involve joint explorations, shared technology development, or even collaborative space programs. Imagine the potential when the world's brightest minds work together, free from geographical constraints. So, in essence, China's approach to space exploration is not just about national pride or technological advancement, it's about a shared vision, a global effort to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. By extending a hand of cooperation, China is not only bolstering its own space program, but is also contributing to the collective progress of humanity in space exploration. In fact, this spirit of cooperation can serve as a model for how we, as a global community, can address other challenges that transcend national borders, such as climate change or global health crises. After all, we are all passengers on Spaceship Earth, and in the vast expanse of space our commonalities far outweigh our differences. China has already invited foreign astronauts to visit the space station and has expressed a willingness to collaborate with other countries on space exploration. As we look to the stars, let's also remember to look to each other, fostering a spirit of global cooperation and shared curiosity, because together, there's no limit to what we can achieve. Looking ahead, China has ambitious plans for its space station. The Tiangong or Heavenly Palace is more than just an impressive feat of engineering. It's a beacon of China's aspirations in space exploration and a testament to human ingenuity. While the station is already a hub for groundbreaking research, its future holds even more promise. Imagine if you will, a future where the Tiangong is not just a laboratory for scientific research, but a springboard for deeper space exploration. As the station grows in size and capabilities, so too does the scope of the missions it can support. The potential for astronaut expeditions venturing beyond Earth's orbit is a tantalizing prospect, and one that China is keen to explore. The space station is expected to be fully operational by 2022, with a lifespan that extends at least into the early 2030s. That's a decade or more of continuous research, experimentation, and discovery. A decade of unveiling the mysteries of our universe and pushing the boundaries of what we know about space. But the research conducted aboard the Tiangong won't be confined to the station itself. The data gathered from these experiments will be shared with the global scientific community, contributing to our collective understanding of the cosmos. Moreover, the Tiangong will continue to be a beacon of international cooperation. As China opens its doors or rather its airlocks to astronauts from around the world, the station will become a truly global endeavor. The future of the Chinese space station is not just about China's aspirations in space, it's about humanity's shared quest for knowledge, our collective drive to explore the unknown, and our determination to push the boundaries of what's possible. The station is expected to be fully operational by 2022 and will remain in orbit for at least 10 years, during which China plans to conduct a wide range of experiments and activities. As we continue to watch the Tiangong's journey, we are not just witnessing the future of China's space exploration but the future of humanity's adventure into the cosmos. As we continue to explore the wonders of our universe, the construction of the Chinese space station stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. With the successful creation of the Tiangong or Heavenly Palace, China has marked a significant milestone in the journey of human space exploration. From the launch of the Tianhe core module, to the completion of a state-of-the-art space laboratory, China's journey has been one of ambition, perseverance, and scientific advancement. 
This space station is more than a symbol of technological prowess. It's a hub for groundbreaking research, international cooperation, and the potential for deep space missions. As we look to the future, the Heavenly Palace is set to be a beacon of knowledge and discovery, contributing to our understanding of the universe and benefiting humanity as a whole. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on space exploration. Until next time, keep looking up.